This is Walking in the Rain tutorial by Obelisk with permission by the author Mariano, you are excommunicado Right, so this is a tutorial for Walking in the Rain crease pattern Now, the crease pattern for this is in the description I will link the designer's crease pattern so you can download it and then pre-crease it and then get ready to go So, I'm probably only going to show the collapsing Simply because the pre-creasing is straightforward of 45 degrees and the shaping, every walking in the rain model is shaped completely differently so there's no right or wrong way to shape it. You just basically add your own touch and taste to, to how you actually shape. But anyway, so this is the crease pattern. The link to it is in the description as I just said. Make sure to download it and use it as we go along. It will help tremendously. Right, so this paper is thinner than usual that I'd normally use for tutorials but I don't have any of what I normally use left so this will have to do Ok, so first of all I'm going to collapse this part just to make it easier as possible we're going to extend, even though these creases stop right here we're going to extend them all the way down until this is all collapsed so we're going to start off hopefully this is a good angle, it should be Start off by making the mountain and valley folds, mountain, valley, mountain, basically all the way down. And this is a good another little trick as well. When you're collapsing parts, just because the crease stops here doesn't mean you have to stop there. I mean you can you can extend the creases all the way down, collapse one part, and then undo the creases here to collapse this part. So that that's a good trick. Learn. Now, in order to collapse this part, we need to make this valley fold, this long blue valley fold. So we bring this up 90 degrees, and then as you see, if you can see here, this, when we do that, this mountain fold becomes one mountain fold so that it connects together so it all lines up, which is what we want now if we turn it around this way, it's probably easier to show this way we are going to bring it together and then once we do that, we will valley fold over So as you can see we have that 90 degree angle that we need in order to correctly and neatly collapse this part. So it's quite tricky to show because this paper is, is, is bigger than I normally use for tutorials. So I will try and take my time to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. So hopefully you manage to get this. So that is the first one done, I'll show the other side as well. So that's the first one done. We have one, two, three, four, five, six more. So again, we're going to extend the next set of creases down. I'm not really sure what type of paper I'm using. Thanks for the origami shop. So we've done that two more times, or three, there were three more creases. Now we are ready to collapse the next one. It's the exact same process. And then just push in the centre part. It's probably easier to turn it around and collapse it this way. It is for me because this paper is quite it's quite weak.
Again, always make sure you've got that 90 degree angle. Like that. Not like that. Not like that. Like that. And that is two done. Now we're just going to keep continuing to do this. I'll do one more and then I will cut the camera until they're all done. Because I've quite worn by, I'm only at 25%. So I'll probably be able to record a few bits more after that and then I'll need to stop to charge it. So here we are ready for the next one. And then just push that part down. This part. And fix that a bit. So now you're going to do the exact same for the next one, two, three, four more and then we will continue. I'm going to do the rest off camera to save time. Now that we've done this, you should have this. Okay, it's quite tricky to show because the size of the paper. It will get easier as the paper gets smaller. But in the meantime I will do my best. And the other side. Okay, now we can continue. We are going to make another long mountain fold, valley, mountain, valley, mountain. So another one, two, three, four, five. Basically five to six more all the way down because that will allow us to use these mountain folds and then we can connect them up with these ones. So we're going to do that first. Just make some more long creases. this angle. Now this paper is definitely quite weak so it's going to take a bit of time to make sure I get it correct to show. It's nice and thin but it's not crisp. It doesn't have the strength. So we've got something like this. going to do is turn the paper around and then make this this valley fold right here and then the one here as well. We're going to make that a mountain fold on this side. So I'll make it easier. So like this. I'm just going to bring this back together and then this one. And then we are going to just connect these up. And as you can see from here, change direction. So we'll then make this mountain and valley fold. But that's what we have at the moment on this side. Let me just tidy this part up. 
I just want to extend the creases all the way down. That will make them normal like this. So we have this. Now we are going to work on this part because once we bring the creases up here they will connect with these ones and then we will be allowed to collapse this part nice and neatly. So we are just going to continue making the mountain folds, mountain and valley folds. Again we are going to extend them all the way down just so it helps, so it makes this part easier to collapse. I really need to find better paper to use for the next tutorials. This is really not the, the greatest. So we have something like this, and it may look a bit messy, like mine does now, but do not worry. What we are going to do now is, we are going to invert this point by pushing it inside and then we are going to make this valley fold and again, if you can tell by the way the creases are, we need another 90 degree angle so we bring this edge up I'm just, go I'm just going to make this one long valley fold for now to help like that we have now something like this. Bring this camera up so you can see better. Right, that should be better. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, because we have made this valley fold, which is on the white side, we can now push in these parts just as we did on these parts here. And then also making the mountain fold as we go along. Now it's important to keep this 90 degree angle in place to get these parts collapsed as cleanly as possible because if your paper is like this and then you try and collapse it you're basically going to make extra unwanted creases and then it's not going to look nice. So keep this angle as 90 degrees as possible, even put a peg here so the paper doesn't move. And it's quite hard to show while on camera so I'm going to take my time. You realise that once you collapse it you know exactly what it should look like. But for me trying to get to there is tricky, especially with, with this paper. So then we have that. So we're basically getting somewhere. Let me show the other side as well. It's quite tricky to see from this angle. I think I'm going to do this part and then stop, fully charge my cameras, no the batteries, and then we will continue. It's got 14% left. So then we're just going to push up, make this mountain fold. Again, it's easier to show on the white side. So we need two more 90 degree angles. I do apologize. I do apologize if I'm turning the paper around constantly. So we have this. And then as you see here, we can make this side first. 
Then make sure you have 90 degrees. That gets folded. We'll fold it over or around. And then 90 degrees on this angle. Again, it's quite tricky to show. I'll then make this a mountain fold. So you should have something like this at the end of it. In fact, let me zoom in and then unfold it, it should be better. So it sort of locks itself together. So it's like that. And what I'm going to do is, once I stop recording, which will be in the next minute, I will neaten all this up so it's ready to go for the next part. But you should have this. And that is that. So I'm going to stop recording, charge my batteries, and then we will continue. Now we have this. Hopefully you have this as well. <clears throat> okay, so now we are going to continue with this part. We're basically going to start by making the mountain folds going in this direction. So up, across, down, all the way in this part. And we're going to stop the creases until we hit here. So we're going to start by doing that and I'll start on this side. Because once we have these in place we can start to put together this part. So again I will just extend it all the way down. Just open up this part first. So we have something like this. Don't worry too much if it's not flat. This isn't flat. I probably won't lie flat until we do the rest of it. So we're just going to hold it like this for now and then this will make it easier to collapse this part first. It does get quite tricky with this paper. So we have this. That is basically what we're aiming for. Now we are going to alter these creases to where the crease pattern is. So just open up and we see we have this mountain fold, mountain, mountain. So we are going to open up and as you see, if you can tell, 
we have the mountain, 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 and valley, valley, valley. So we need 90 degree creases or angles for that part. So again, we make this the mountain fold, and then we rotate it 90 degrees. And that will allow us to collapse this part. Like that, and that's the first bit. And then we're just going to open up more. Again, just follow the creases. So we have this. Then put the one again to So this part gets pushed in because it's some valley valley valley, it's three valley folds. And then these creases here are just the direction of the creases, so they tell you which way the paper goes when you collapse it. So like this. We're pushing in here and we're aligning all these edges so that they basically become one unit. And what I mean by that is one unit thickness here, not two, not three, one. So we've got one unit here. Now we, we just need to open up and push in these layers just like that. And that is what you should have when you collapse it. Now we are going to continue with these creases, we are going to uh, stop them coming all the way down and start making them what they should be. And as you see here that there is a valley fold and not a mountain fold. This is correct, I will get to it in a minute. Because a friend in one of my Instagram groups was confused on this part. And it does lie flat. That is correct. I think that's as much as we can do now for this part. So like that. Now I am going to peg it right here so it holds in place to make the next part easier to collapse. So I've pegged it here and I've also pegged it right here as well to hold these parts in place so they don't move. Okay, so the next part we're going to put in place is these valley folds. Again, these are all 90 degree creases, just like these ones here. They're the exact same process, but also a bit more bigger in scale and a bit more different on each one. So, because we have this, this creates pressure coming down, so it should make it easier to collapse these parts. But we are first of all going to turn it around and then put a few of these creases in place to help start this part. Alright, so we're first of all going to make this long mountain fold. And then stop it where it hits here. Just going to do this. Going to stop it. Like that. Now we're going to come back to here 
make the next mountain fold. Let me just see where I am. Yeah, so this part folds right over because these creases are mirrored. So we have a valley mountain and then a mountain valley. So this has to be basically become this layer. So when you fold it right over, and then if you make that a mountain fold, that uses the valley fold correctly. And if you make this a valley, that uses the mountain fold correctly. So make sure it's completely, basically glued. That's basically what you want it. So you fold over and then it's stuck. And that's how it works. So we're just going to make this mountain fold. And then this valley fold. We're not going to do the whole, the whole thing because we're not working on that part. We're working on the bottom bit. So we're just trying to help set ourselves up for this next collapse. And this is the way I would do it. So we have this. Then we're going to extend the crease down. Oh, loopers in. Look, you push the door open again yourself. You mad boy. And then let me see where the mountain fold goes. Yep, we can do another one. And as if you can tell that when the creases come down, I'm I am starting to put in these valley folds. Not correctly, but I'm starting to get the 90 degree angle roughly in place, ready for this part. Yeah, so I think I'm going to leave this part here the now. I'm going to leave that bit like this. I'm going to work on this part. So, if you can tell, this, we have a mountain fold and then a mountain fold. So when this part gets collapsed, then this part gets collapsed, so this touches this line, and same with this. The pressure pushes upwards, so this is the direction creases. This tells us that where the paper is moving. So we are going to hold it, like this, make the mountain fold, and then fold it over. I'll try it a second, let me just put this in place as well. have this. We're only going to do basically just like that. I'm going to peg it right here as well because that will help for later on. I'm going to turn it in another direction like that. So we have this. So you should have this at the moment. And then we're just going to ex continue these mountain and valley folds. And again, just take your time when you do this, make sure they're all nice and neat. Because that's what you want to do. The neater your collapse, the better result you get in the end. Or the easier it will be to shape. Okay, so I have collapsed up to here. I can't really do it anymore because the paper comes down too much at an angle. So what I'm going to do is, to make it easier, I'm going to start collapsing these valley folds and getting them in place at the moment. So I'm going to turn the paper around because it's easier to show this direction at this angle. And then half hold here and then 90 degrees to do that one. Open up. Like so, like that. Let me turn it around just to show you. Give me a second. Loopers are running out, it's going around my legs. So we have this. <laughs> Where are you there, buddy? Where are you out? Right, back in a second. <clears throat> okay, so we've got this. Now we're going to turn it back around and then continue with the next ones. So this is the big one. 
the biggest out of all of them. And we have this. So if you notice we don't have a mountain fold in the centre like we do with this one. That's because we have the directional creases right here. This bottom line, this bottom row of creases, it starts off with a valley fold. And as you can see it lines up as you come along and pushes in like that. So this part stays flat. Hopefully you can see that okay. Now we're going to turn it around, in fact, let me try and put in a few more of these, we should be able to now, because we have that collapsed. So flip it around, and then we'll put in the next one. So we have this. And this should be the last major bit. That's quite tricky to put in place. So we have something like this. And we're going to turn it around and then look at it from this angle. And you should have this. It should be neater than mine. Mine isn't the neatest, but that's alright. So now that we have this part in place, what we're going to do now is connect this half with this half because this. This half has collapsed, so is this half, so it's just the part in the middle that we need to work on in order to neaten this part up. So what we're going to do is, we are going to push in this valley, oops, push in this valley fold. Push in these parts. Just trying to make sure that we have this part correctly set up first. Okay, so like this. I'm going to push this part in. Again, because we have the two valley folds here, we need that 90 degree angle, so we need to try and put this back in place. And it's come slightly undone here. It's going to get a bit more tricky with this paper. Let me see if I can extend. Yep. So what we're going to do is I'm going I'm going to extend this crease up to here, and then do as what we did right here to make this part easier. So we'll just pinch it like this. Now I now that should allow me to collapse this part easier. It's going to be quite tricky, this part. Okay, so that's the best I can do here, because we need to put in these creases in order to fully utilise these lines. So 
So now I am putting on this 90 degree angle, which we have right here and here. Just going to bring these together as well. So we should have this. Now, right here, we have the directional creases. So this goes up here, continues all the way down to here. I believe it does. So we are going to try and do that. And then in the process, this gets wrapped around Like so. I'm going to peg it right here to help because this, this wants to come open on itself so we can't allow that. So we have this. Now I'm going to try and let me just see. Yeah, I need another 90 degree angle there. I'm going to try and clean this part up. So, once you've got the layers wrapped inside, we now need to make this valley fold. like that. So I hope you managed to get that, but that was quite tricky. Pardon me. Again, follow the crease pattern as your best friend when doing a sequence like this. Now we have all this in place, we can't really use these other creases until we get other bits in place. So let me just see for a second. Okay, so this part comes about in fold. Yeah, I know, I know what happens there, I'll come back to that bit. Okay, so we've done this, I'm going to now extend this peg down to here. In fact, let me angle it a wee bit to help stay in place, so like that. Now what we're going to do is come over here and we are going to start putting in... Let me see. We will now start to put in these creases. This is a bit more complex, so we'll come back to that once more of it, once more of this has collapsed, we can then work on that. Okay, so again, we've got this folded under. Again, here the creases are mirrored, so we need this to be completely flat. We're going to make this mountain fold. So we have this angle. We are going to make this mountain fold all the way up. Just connect it up with the crease we made earlier on. And the same again here. And here as well. So we have something like this. Now let me see how this part gets collapsed. Okay, so in order to collapse this part we're going to need to put in this valley fold as well. So we're going to make this mountain fold. Okay, I'm going to double check to make sure the pieces are correct. No, that's different. I'm not too sure on this part because it's two mountain folds. Maybe it's correct, maybe it's not. 
we're going to work on this part first. So we're just going to, first of all, make the valley fold. And then we need to make this one right here and push in these creases. That is quite tricky to do. So just take your time on doing it. Now we can extend these creases up. Like that. And then we can work on this part. So I'm just going to, let me see if that's correct. Yeah, it must be. Okay, so we are going to now work on this part. As you can tell, we have the valley fold and then the mountain fold. So this, the mountain fold bottom, bottom part comes like this. And then the top part gets pushed up. like that and then this folds up and over so maybe this part is wrong let me see mm. I don't see how it could be one mountain fold let me put this over I'm sure this is correct Like that. I'm not entirely sure on this part, it is quite confusing, but I'll collapse it the way it is, like this, and then I will I'll try and figure it out. Okay, I have something like this. So again, just work on the crease pattern for this part. So this part must collapse like this. That's the only way I can see how it would collapse. All get used together and lie flat. So let me just quickly crease this in place and I'll show you. So I believe that is correct. Just the creases are the wrong colour. That's why. And that's one thing that's quite confusing with models or crease patterns out there. Sometimes the crease patterns aren't always correct. Colours can be different. Um, creases can be missed. As in Camille's crease patterns, a few creases are missed and has, has ones, so it makes things more tricky. So, yeah, I'm 100% sure that is correct. Okay, so now that we've got this, we can extend the creases up. And because we have this part collapsed and then this part, we can open up like this, make the mountain fold. Because we have this valley fold and then the two creases are mirrored, we need a 90 degree crease. Oops. 
So we have the first side done. I'm going to open up the second side. Like that. And then just fold up. And that is the first side done. Let me see if I can peg it anywhere here at the moment. I don't think I can. In fact, I could probably peg it right here. Yeah, let me try and pick it right here for now to see if this helps. Okay, so we've got this first one done. We are going to open up and start on the second one. But first we need to put in these creases just to help with this collapse. So we're going to open up these plates. Put them in place. In fact, I'll get rid of that. Didn't last long. Let me just make this a one complete mountain fold first. So I could peg it right here, put the peg back in this place. So we have this. So now we should be able to collapse the second one because we have this in place and then this can go in place. But the peg's in the way. So we'll try it like this first. Lubra wants back in. So again, we are going to make the mountain folds on both sides. And then this side. It's going to get quite tricky here because all these layers fold on into one unit. So again, we need that 90 degree angle in order to collapse this part. So we're going to put that in place first. Let me zoom out of you. Like that. And then let me... Okay, so what we do now here is we have two basically 90 degree creases. The first one we made, and then the second one. So, what we need to do now is make sure they are both 90 degrees and both in place, which the left one is. I'm going to look at the right one, the right one is as well. And if you look at the crease pattern, we have a valley fold here, and then we've got mountain, valley, mountain and valley into this part. So we need to align these layers up, and then valley fold them down into one another. One another. So we have this. So they all merge into one another, like that. So I can unpack that. So hopefully I managed to show that clear enough. So what we're going to do now is, we are going to just extend this crease. 
down enough so we can collapse the next part. In fact, let me just open this all the way up. That's actually a valley fold. Anyway, we'll leave that the way it is. I have to push that in. And we are just going to extend these parts and open them up. So again, here's the next 90 degree angle, but before we do that, we need to put in these creases in order to help make this part easier. So again, we just continue with these mountain and valley folds. That one's in place. And what you can do, once you have this part collapsed, is peg it. I will peg it right here. Make sure it's neat. Mine isn't neat, but make sure it's perfect before you do that. And then we have that. So we should have something like this. Now we are going to open up this bottom bit. And do as what we did before. It's going to be a bit more tricky. Because we have these layers already collapsed. So we're just going to make these valley folds and mountain folds so like that and then we're going to do the same on this side this side will be easier because we have more space between each unit so that was probably the only hard part for the head because they are both close together and you only need to do that bit once like that we still need to do the same for this part as well. We're just going to reform them like this. Don't worry about changing them here. It makes it easier to collapse this part. Now this part's fine. I want to just make sure these creases are correct. are being correctly used. So there we go, we have the four mountain folds at the top. We have the one, two, three and four. So we are good. Now turn it around this angle. And the same again, 90 degrees, we need to bring these edges not like this, but like this. Then as you do that, Make sure you have the mountain folds in place. This one is in place, so I'm happy with that. This one, let me see, is in place as well. Could be neater, but again, take your time when you do this. So we're going to fold up. Then I'm just going to crease to hold them in place. And as you see, like before, we have a valley fold here. So we need to make sure that all these creases are lining up. There you go. Flipper, jumping everywhere. We need to make sure that we have, they're all lined up straight on one unit and then we make the valley float like so. And that brings the creases in together. It uses them all correctly, all in the correct orientation. Like that, and then we can fold the valley fold over if we have everything correct. We do have here, so that is these parts done. So we don't have much more for the head, maybe just take one more part. So, what we're going to do now is pull out these layers and prepare for the last one. First of all, we're going to put these creases in place and then these ones. Right, so let's start by 
opening these up. But let me start on this side first. This is where it gets quite messy, so don't worry too much. And I will try to show it as best as possible. So we are just extending these mountain and valley folds. So I'm happy with these ones. Let me just try and show you. Now I am going to oh yeah, push this button. So I have this next one in place, I'm happy with that. Now we're going to work on this side here, and it's about a wee bit more. That's as far as it goes that far. So we're just going to make mountain and valley, mountain and valley as far as we can go down because the further it goes the easier this should be I don't need to worry too much going down this way we're focusing on this part at the moment so that one's in place fine I've got to work on the next one I'm just going to bring this one up so it makes this part easier to collapse. That one is fine. Then this one. And then the final one. Like so. So we have all this in place. Now, let me see. Okay, we're going to turn it around and then open up this paper. This is the last little part for the hair. So again we're going to make the mountain folds on the outside. So we have got the one on the right done. Now the left hand side. So that is done. I'm happy with that. So now, as usual, bring it together and then fold up in order to correctly use these creases. And then we can fold it in half using this valley fold. And then that is basically this part done. We have collapsed all the hair units. So you should have something like this. And I hope yours is neater than mine, because I'm trying to, it's not easy to be neat and show at the same time how to actually collapse it. So we have this. Now I need to stop recording and charge my battery. And I'm quite hungry as well, so I will continue this later on, where we will collapse this. So we have this now. And what we're going to try to do now is put more of it in place because we've basically got all the outside collapsed so I'm just going to start slotting in more creases to get it more compact which should be easier to make it to finish it off and that becomes a mouthful Basically, we have the dress part of the now, or this part where the colour the big mountain fold is. Now I can slot these in, so that's good. I'm going to hold it again right here, like this, and then put all these creases in place, or as best as I can for now.
think that is as much as we can get on this part. So, could I peg it here? Yeah, I'm going to peg it right here. So, look at that. So, that, that will hold all that in place. Now, try to find it where the. Oh, I forgot to colour in the line here. Let's pop this in place. The centre will probably be the most difficult bit. But it is symmetrical, the top, so this side and this side. So we just need to try and do as much as we can in place first on this side, or on both sides, and then. That should make it easier. Did I miss corner in the part here as well? I think I did. So we're going to do, we're going to do the exact same on this side. So we now have something like this. And then we have this part is completely folded over on itself. So the creases mirror one another. So now we can make these parts. So what we have here is we are just going to push up. Because again we have the two valley folds on each side. We need to make them and then we're pushing up on this part all the way up and then this mountain fold is going to push over this part here making this mountain fold here so like that it, it doesn't need to go up all the way there now as long as we get this part in place, we're good. Which I've got it in place, so I'm going to peg it right at the top. And I just need to see where these extra creases are going first, just to make sure they are alternating. So, valley, that's correct, valley, so this gets pushed down, this gets pushed inside, this gets reversed. Okay. So, we're going to open up. This part, as you see, we have this mountain fold here. So the rest is the is correct on this side. Yep. So this means we need to turn the paper 90 degrees and collapse like this. That's quite tricky. And then this valley fold, this one here, with the rest of them, comes into play and uses this crease right here. So it's going to be tricky to properly use it. Oh, that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. And I will also put this one in place as well. I think, um, no that stays flat that bit, so that's fine. I wasn't sure because I didn't have the line here. In fact, let me double check to make sure I haven't missed colouring in. Nope, that's correct. haven't missed any creases, any colours. So we are just going to do the exact same what we did here, right here. So we're going to push this over. Again, make sure yours is neater than mine when you do this. And then 
and fold over. Like that. And just peg the two pegs so it holds it better. So we have this. We won't be able to properly neaten this up until we get the rest of this in place. So we're going to try and do that. So let's just make this mountain fold. And then this one. And pop these in place. Run this crease here. I don't think I did. Yeah, so that bit, get, that bit gets pushed inside. This part. Because we don't have the diagonal. We're right here. We can't make it. So we need to push it in. Alright, so let's pull this up here. And then this all gets folded over itself. I believe I'm going to double check to make sure the colours are on it. So there are two mountain folds here. Is this correct? Yep. Again, it could be wrong. I really don't know. But I think it is actually wrong. Because these are all correct, the bottom ones. Can't really do anything like with that. Yeah, I'm sure that's wrong. Now I'm going to do the same on this side. Just sink this part in. And then this all gets Mirrored. I'm sure this is wrong as well, maybe. That probably should be a valley fold. So let me just double check. Um, okay, so as you see here, through all these layers, this is a valley fold, and then a valley. And then it, in fact, maybe not, maybe not. Never mind, I'll come back to this part. I'm not too sure on that bit. So what we're going to do is turn it around with these two valley folds here. We're just going to collapse them. So here, here and here. And then when you do that, it mirrors on the other side. Do the same on this side. And then we need to turn the paper up to puff this part out. Yeah, so that bit must be a valley fold. Also, it can't be a mountain fold, this crease right here. And I'm pretty sure this is correct as well, even though the creases don't have all the valley folds between them, it should line up like that. So I'm going to go with this, so hopefully that is correct. So 
once we bring that together, we can push this part down, push this top part in. Pardon me. Right, yeah, that must be correct. So we've done this part, uh, we just need to open it up and check to see what other parts we need. Yeah, so this part needs to get pushed. So basically this is the last bit we need to put in place. Again it's 90 degree folds because the colours change. Okay, so let me just see. I, I know exactly what to do, but this paper doesn't make it as easy. So again, the crease pattern is probably slightly different in here. The way it's telling us is, um, let me see. Yep, these two sides stay like that, but then this part won't lie flat. So what I'm going to do is just fold over these layers like this, and then bring this together, and then just fold this down to one side. Again, it's probably because this model is so 3D. In terms of shaping, there's probably no right or wrong way. So like that. So just keep these layers together, and then we're just going to swing that around. So take all these pegs off if you have any. We're going to flatten this. Probably not the easiest to flatten as well. Yeah, I don't think I talked about this probably, but make sure to use these direction creases as well, the edge ones, that's mountain fold and valley fold. Just meeting this up. And let's fold this part up just to try and get this bottom bit flat first. So there we go, that is it. That is the base completely flat as how it should be. So you should have something like this. Now this was quite tricky to fold, especially this last part. And because, pardon me, that some of the creases are missing and some of them are different colours as to how they should be. So that's what I mean by this middle bit. Let me just zoom in. So like that. These all go valley fold to the right, then this one to the left. Of 
course, the neater that you get it, the better it will be. Straight from that angle as well. So I hope that you managed to make this. I will work on a second part for shaping. I won't plan it at the moment, but I will practice with this on how to get the rough shape. And then if I if I get something good, then I will try and make something to help you out. But this is a good start for you, so make sure that you take your time when you do this. And I forgot what I was going to say. 